Here we are going to use the negative angle formulas, uh, e.g. cos minus theta, sine minus theta, and tan minus theta, um, and the complementary angle formulas, which means basically sine and cos are shifted by 90 degrees or by pi by 2 radians. So cos pi by 2 minus theta is exactly the same as sine theta, and sine pi by 2 minus theta is exactly the same as cos theta. For the um, negative angle stuff, uh, if we just draw a such as really quickly, if we're interested in minus theta, well, say that's theta. That can be theta. Well, minus theta will be the same angle, but it goes backwards instead of forward. So that would be minus theta. And remember, where the point is, uh, the coordinates of that point are um, it's because of the angle and sine of the angle. So you can see if this has coordinates cos theta, sine theta, as in the x and y on this plane. And don't forget the gradient of the line is tan theta. Yes, it's sine over cos, of course, because that is um, change in y over change in x. But don't forget the gradient of that line is tan theta as well. So if you just look at this, this is minus theta here. You can see that the x coordinate of here, if I just draw, I don't want to ruin my uh, thetas, but you can see that the cos theta or cos minus theta is exactly the same value because it's the x coordinate and it is, um, it's, it's still positive and it's exactly the same size. So this has coordinates of cos theta. Sine theta, you can see now, is, is different because it's negative. It's below the x-axis, but it is the same size. This height is exactly the same. So this has coordinates cos theta minus sine theta. And if you look at the tan, well, the line has exactly the same gradient numerically, but it's negative. So that tells us that um, sine minus theta equals minus sine theta. Cos minus theta equals cos theta, exactly the same. And tan minus theta equals minus tan theta. And that has, uh, it tells you they're odd or even. Cos is an even function, and sine and tan are both odd. Okay, so now knowing all of this, we just need to simplify some, some expressions. So simplify uh, 2 sine minus theta plus 3 sine theta. So that's not bad. So you need to look at the sine minus theta, and we know that sine minus theta equals minus sine theta. So this becomes 2 times minus sine theta, which is minus 2 sine theta plus 3 sine theta and then minus 2 sine theta plus 3 sine theta gives you 1 sine theta which is just sine theta. Part B. Simplify 2 cos theta plus cos minus theta. 2 cos theta plus cos minus theta. So the 2 cos theta, can't do anything with that, but the cos minus theta, remember cos minus theta is the same as cos theta. So this ends up being 2 cos theta plus cos theta, as cos minus theta is cos theta. 2 cos theta plus cos theta is 3 cos theta. Okay, and the last one. Here we're going to use the complementary rule. We have 3 sine uh, pi by 2 minus theta plus 2 cos theta. So you can't do anything with the 2 cos theta, but if you look at sine pi by 2 minus theta, well, we said that that's completely equivalent to um, cos theta. They are, they are basically out of phase by 90 degrees. If you translate one um, by 90 degrees, it will go on to the other one. So this is now can be written as 3 cos theta plus 2 cos theta. 3 cos theta plus 2 cos theta, which is 5 cos theta. So this was quite simple, these examples. But the, these actual simplifications, they turn up 
there's tiny little bits of very, very involved big questions. So you do need to be really good, really efficient at dealing with this sort of thing. They'll turn up in proofs, they'll turn up in calculus, in nasty equations all over the place. So you need to be ready.